hello, this is Michelle Baker, and today is day 28 of me coming to you and sharing with you the importance of laughter to add some lightness and levity to your life. And why am I doing this? Because it, we are in an intriguing, interesting, and difficult time in our history, and laughter is one of those things that will help you to elevate yourself above current circumstances, situations, and people. So when you find yourself in the midst of difficulty, overwhelm, challenging, doubt, fear, setbacks, um, failures, mistakes, being able to laugh is such a powerful gift that it will bring you back to the present moment, allow you to feel some light, lightness. And this is why I say I'm bringing you lightness and levity because it lightens you and it actually elevates you. It helps you to see through and above what you thought was so relevant and important that it was causing you emotional stress and harm. So laughter is a gift. It is key and essential to life. As I mentioned yesterday, it is like, um, it's food for your soul. So one of the things I wanted to po po point out is as many places are going back to lightening some of our uh, current situations where you will be able to go out and connect and do things as of Friday, and some people have already lifted it, and some of the social benefits of laughter and humor are that it is a strengthens communication. It is a universal language that when you can find something to laugh about, it'll cross, it'll take you across communication barriers. It actually helps to bond you with people and it forges such a strong bond when you're able to consistently laugh with people that it buffers against stress, disagreement, and disappointment. Finding that many people in relationships and the workplace and at home find, and you know, any, place where you have social gatherings on a consistent and ongoing basis, the people who are able to laugh together tend to stay together because they can actually solve and resolve situations and problems and issues. And understand this, the, the desire to have a relationship with another human being, and I'm not just talking about romantic, I'm talking about in life in general. Anytime you are connected with another person to create some type of outcome where you can consistently going to be communicating that's considered a relationship so there are no perfect relationships you are two completely human different human beings who came from different backgrounds so you have different belief systems you have different experiences you have different levels of importance where what one some person might think is important the other person might think is no big deal and that really starts to cause drama somebody might want you to say thank you for every little thing the other person is like why do i have to say thank you for every little thing i appreciate you overall right i say it in different ways some person might somebody might want gifts where the other person wants time somebody might want to be affectionate where the other person wants to be heard your ability to laugh will help you to form bonds and put some ease so you can better communicate what's bothering you or what you need or what didn't work for you in those relationships and situations so as we get back to as we go back into some of these workplaces and we start to intermingle with people be more aware that it's not that serious right if somebody isn't dying right it's not that serious you can communicate make a joke about it lighten the mood so you can move forward and create remember if you came together in a relationship there's generally a desired outcome that you were hoping to get to and allowing yourself to get all caught up in the little meaningless things will deter you from that overall goal and outcome that you believe that you could create so be willing to laugh and having said that i am going to bring to you some jokes today so remember today is day 28 so i have 28 29 and 30 three days left where i will be doing this and this has absolutely been amazing thank you so much for your comments for your support for your feedback this has been so fun so i'm really excited that i'll be doing something again in may it'll be different from laughter and i, I will keep doing this because i love the accountability of coming every day and it helps me to learn so much more about what i love to do and that's help people to find more joy and enthusiasm for the life we have as far as i know we get one shot so being able to live it and in a way you love it 
is vitally important. So that's why I'm doing this to help you love where you are, who you are right now today, so you can make choices that will get you better and better every day in every way. So having said all of that, our jokes for the day are one, Today uh, was a terrible day. My ex got hit by a boss bus and I lost my job as the bus driver. <laughs> so the joke was, today was a terrible day. My ex got hit by a bus and I lost my job as the bus driver. <laughs> That's so bad, it's totally tasteless. <laughs> so I really had to get some bad ones in there. Joke number two, because I'm doing double downing. <laughs> so this is another joke about a spouse so wives are like grenades remove the ring and boom house is gone <laughs> oh my god that was really really bad <laughs> so i'll get you some more tomorrow thanks so much thanks for watching my name is michelle baker i am an award-winning international keynote speaker i am a sales confidence coach and i'm the current director of global sales development for the national Association of Sales Professionals. It would be my absolute honor and privilege to speak to you. If you are a sales professional or someone who is in the role of selling as a leader, as a business owner, and you would like to understand more that people actually buy for emotional reasons and they justify with logic. 80% of the sales transaction is emotional. And if you are not in the ability to deal with your emotions, if things outside of you cause you to be uncomfortable, inconvenienced, frustrated, and you think it's not fair, that's what's making that sales transaction difficult. I'd love to have a conversation with you about how I can be of support and value to yourself, your team, your organization, so that you can add some lightness and levity to your sales process and create exemplary and excellent client and buyer experiences. My name, again, is Michelle Baker. I can be reached at plus one, five one two. 937 3263. Again, that's plus one, 512 937 3263. Have a wonderful evening, and I will see you all tomorrow.